I wouldn't expect this to be running my uh, new 4K gaming uh, battle station, but uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if uh, someone on a really tight budget who was looking for 720p or maybe low settings 1080p gaming wants to pick one of these up. Stick around. Check out techteamgb.co.uk for more awesome news, reviews and other stuff, including more information on this product and many more. Stick around for this awesome video. So as the intro suggests, this is an A10-7860K. It's a quad-core CPU running at 3.6GHz uh, with a boost to 4GHz and 8 GPU cores, at least that's how they define it, as an R7 GPU at 757MHz. Inside the box you've got the chip itself, as well as their new silent cooler, an A-series uh, case badge and the usual sort of warranty info. Now this is obviously, as usual for AMD, the PGA or pin rittery uh, chip, so it has a lot of pins sticking at the back so you really do need to make sure that you don't uh, bend those at all as uh, yeah you may not end up getting in the socket if you do. Um, also do take into account the uh, little gold triangle on the uh, bottom left hand corner as you're installing this. Now they do have a new cooler, this isn't the Wraith cooler that I checked out with the 8370 but it is still pretty quiet and pretty uh, decent for the temperatures. Now Gigabit sent over this uh, FM2 board for us to uh, use. And while we did have some issues uh, back and forth, it does seem to be mostly just uh, the you know install of the SSD that I was using. So uh, I do highly recommend this board and the slightly upgraded version of this one, which has M.2. But this one does have USB 3.1 Type C, even if it is running through a third-party As Media controller. Uh, it's still nice to see um, some of the sort of slightly newer features uh, are somewhat available in this. Uh, and by the way, just to install the cooler, it's very simple. Just put the two tabs over the end. In terms of performance, this isn't going to be earth shatteringly, uh, shatteringly great, um, you know, the, in terms of actual FPS numbers, you're probably looking at about 30 FPS on most games at low settings at 1080p, or maybe about, again, 30 FPS on mid settings at 1080p, um, so do bear that in mind as you won't get the best performance possible, um, but again, at 1080p, it's going to be just about okay, although I definitely recommend running at 720p uh, if you were looking to game on it. It is still definitely a very low TDB chip, they've sort of tuned this one to be between 45 and 65 watts uh, as standard, which is quite nice and obviously you could try and overclock it if you like, uh, and obviously running with higher speed memory does also mean that you uh, end up with a little bit of a faster chip, so if you wanted to take a crack at trying to go full budget for this, that is quite possible, but um, yeah, anyway, here's my thoughts. So in the interest of transparency, AMD actually sent me two 7860Ks uh, and two motherboards because the first one wasn't performing as well as they expected it to, and then the second one actually I couldn't get it to post properly so it went back to the first one, and after a clean install and a few more tests I managed to get a clean set of, uh, of tests and results uh, for the benchmarks which you'll have just seen. Now basically this isn't the best performing thing on the planet, it's not going to be powering your next uh, you know, 4K gaming desktop, um, it may perhaps still run your 4K HTPC which is quite nice, um, and in terms of gaming you're really looking at 720p on medium settings for this, and I do kind of, I'm hesitant to recommend it just because if it's only performing kind of this well on sort of medium to low settings at 720p or 1080p in the future, especially with more demanding games coming out, um, this may struggle a lot more with those so that's just something to bear in mind um, and something to, to keep in, in mind when you are picking one of these up if you are. Um, in terms of uh, kind of pros and cons, really the, the functionality for me isn't always there with these, especially because these are technically an older platform. So there's only, for example, I think there's only one gigabyte board that has an M.2 slot on it, for example, and USB Type-C and 3.1 aren't really available here, or if they are available, they're being run through third-party controllers which don't offer the full support. So again, that is something to bear in mind. Um, in terms of performance though, it's nice the fact that it's on a single ship and it's priced pretty well so if you are you know, really really tight on budget, um, this isn't a bad choice uh, if you're looking for just a little bit of gaming, especially if you're looking for kind of uh, LOL or League of Legends, Dota, that sort of gaming, uh, kind of more light gaming, something that isn't as demanding, this works pretty well on that uh, as well, so that's kind of cool. Um, in terms of uh, actual scoring, I'm going to go for a 4 for value for money. Um, 4 for performance, just because of the price that it's at, um, I'm not overly impressed with the performance personally, but that's because uh, this, you know, coming from something like an 980 Ti and a 4780K, I tend to get a few more FPS's than this on higher 
higher settings, um, but it does perform fairly well and uh, for at least for the price anyway, so that's okay. In terms of uh, functionality, I'm actually gonna go with a three here because these boards, uh, while they are uh, decent enough um, for you know the average use and for the, the average consumer, especially people at this price point, it wouldn't be nice to see some of the newer features available on them, so that'd be quite cool. In terms of uh, styling though, it's a five because it's a chip, uh, and it's also gonna get, I think, a four for Texan BB score, and I'm gonna go with a bronze award because it is a nice chip, it does well, but it's not uh, kind of blowing me off my feet in terms of uh, what you can get for the money and for the size So I guess that kind of that evens it out quite nicely. I think so. Yeah, I guess that's kind of it I hope you enjoyed the video uh, found it useful if you did feel free to subscribe and like and uh, let me know what you liked If you didn't though, please do let me know what you didn't like in the comments down below so I can improve for next time and uh, Yeah, also just before you go uh, if you are picking up this uh, or really anything else it could be your garden shed or your uh, you know, next diamond ring, um, whatever it is, uh, please do use my Amazon affiliate links in the description down below. I know a lot of people ask about these and, you know, ask you and pledge you to use them, um, but it genuinely is helping me keep the lights on and is helping me make these videos. So if you want to continue seeing these videos and you're already buying stuff on Amazon, if you click the link, um, that would uh, just help me out a lot. Um, other than that, uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and yeah, we'll see you on the next video.